Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Capricorn. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So what I'm seeing here is that a secret comes out. And uh, so we see that the tower is struck, uh, but it doesn't fall. Okay, so that's good. That doesn't fall. Um, so there's still hope. There's still a chance here. Um, I feel like I feel like uh, somebody has made a mistake. They may not have been totally honest with the other person about it, and uh, I feel like this is what comes out. You know. And uh, so it may feel like to someone like history is repeating itself because this is something that's coming or resurfacing or coming back around out of the past. Okay, so you've already experienced this thing with this person and you thought it was taken care of, but they may not have been totally honest with you about that. And so it resurfaces, it comes back around. They will, I feel like there's a big fight about this and I feel like they will immediately ask for another chance, all right? So, and that is where you must decide to, are you gonna give them another chance or not? So um, here we see them asking for another chance. It's like, please, can I have another chance? This is what I'm hearing. And um, there you are assessing. Uh, yeah. So it looks like there's some heartbreak here. It, it can feel like the relationship is threatened at this point when, when this truth comes out or this secret comes out. it This can be uh, that whatever came out made you very angry. Um, you're facing a challenge here right now with this news. It's very challenging news. It's bringing back uh, old feelings uh, also uh, to the surface. Um, Um, with the skull, it's like uh, there's a lot of grief. Um, you may, it could be like a reality check. So it's like you thought everything was okay and then this happens. And so that's like your reality check that, whoop, wait a minute, there's still a threat here. I'm not sure if I can really trust this person, you know. There's the knife. So it could feel like they've literally stabbed you in the back because um, it can speak to betrayal but it can also this could go two ways it could also speak to solutions okay you may be feeling very guarded with this person and you may be uh, now questioning everything they've told you questioning their intentions when it comes to you and when it comes to this relationship. So somebody here is very burdened by the past, okay? Um, and they are wondering if, you know, if they're, if you guys can see new growth here. Um, here we see that something got spilt in the family. There's the family room, so something got spilt. Um, it could be, it could be you're wondering what's true and what's false at this point with your person and, you know, uh, trying to, to decide if you should give them another chance because that's what this, um, this is sick. that's what this card is about. It's, you know, should I give this another chance? Uh, there's a lot of obstacles. We see those mountains back there. But we see that although those obstacles are there, this person doesn't really want to move. They're standing still. They still want to drink from this cup, okay? Um, 
they don't want this to end. Um, they're reflecting on the past. It's they don't want it to end, but yet it's like uh, it's very important to this person um, that their partner be honest with them. You know, uh, the fact that they may have lied about something really cuts deep for this person. You know. I feel like though, um, I feel like uh, if this is happening to you and somebody's asking you for another chance, you really do love this person. You really do. Um, but you need, you need to see the bigger picture. You need to know what their intentions are and is this really the last time, you know, uh, or is this going to resurface again uh, in the future? You want some peace of mind before actually, you know, making up. You've got fears about making up with this person. It could have been a, there could have been a third party involved in this, uh, but you you've got fears about that. Um, so before actually, uh, see, you got all of these insecurities in your inner house, um, all of these fears. Uh, and so you need some reassurance, some peace of mind that it's not going to happen again. I think that's what it is, you know. And something here needs to change if you are going to make up with this person and move forward. Yeah, so your heart is breaking over what you've learned. At this point, you're not quite sure if you should take them back or not. But uh, like you have a lot of fears, but I do believe uh, that you will. See, there we go. So um, hanged man, he now knows what to do. And what's he going to do? Well, he's, he's doing this. He's taking it to a better place. The problem with this picture is that he's carrying some swords onto the shore. Now, swords are the ghosts of the past, and so you don't want to be carrying those onto the shore. They should have been tossed in the water <laughs> on the way there, you know. So um, this will be very, very important, and it will be key to whether this relationship survives, okay. You must overcome those ghosts of the past. You must bury them. Um, in order to um, in order to move forward uh, or in order for it to last really right now it's like you get it to a better place you get it to a calmer shore but you need to get rid of the ghosts of the past and I think this is what you want anyway you want that peace of mind you don't want the, the this to follow you or haunt you in the future so you want to be really sure it's not going to happen again That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.